Hey, this is Marty from GaffaPower.com, and today I want to walk you guys through our office to show you the interesting ways that we use gaffer tape. Our first stop is this window seal. Now, this is a bit of an older building, and ants and bugs come through this little crack here. So, grab ourselves some gaffer tape and put it right over the seal. That way the bugs can't come in, uh, they don't get hurt, we don't see the bugs, and whenever I want to remove the gaffer tape, I can do so very easily, and it won't leave any residue. Easy to put on and easy to pull off. And for those of you who care about color matching, you can use our white gaffer tape, and maybe that'll look a little bit better, doesn't matter to us. It's exactly the same adhesive, the same tape, and use it just as easily, and then whenever you want to pull it off, easy to pull off, no residue, and no bugs. Our next stop is the coffee pot. Uh, we probably should be buying a new coffee pot, and we always say we're going to buy another coffee pot, but we never do. So we've attached the handle to the coffee pot with some gaffer tape. This has been going on for probably a good year. Uh, it's still very uh, solid, and uh, hey, it saves us from buying another coffee pot. Works terrifically well. Another use of gaffer tape is for a bathtub seal. Now. We actually don't have a use for this, but we were using this to test this out. And this particular piece of gaffer tape has been on here for about three months, which is about 20, 25 uh, showers or so. Some of our team members will take a shower coming back from the gym and so on. And it allowed us to test it, test the waterproof a part of it, and the water does not penetrate uh, through it. It's been uh, solid ever since. We applied it on a dry surface, and it's still sticking strong. And, uh, well, we're going to have to see how long it lasts, but um, so far, so good. You can use the gaffer tape in the corners so we got the, the bugs don't crawl in. And, again, you can remove the tape very easily without leaving a residue whenever... Uh, whenever you move out or whenever you're done with the tape and you can use the white or any kind of color tape that you want if you want it to blend in. We all need a power shake every day and we always uh, come into the kitchen here and make one, but we lost the cover of this bloody thing. Uh, and instead of buying a new one, we just applied gaffer tape and we've been using uh, the gaffer tape on this for several months now. It works perfectly fine. You put it on the top, uh, mix your drink and it works just like new. Our next stop is this little piece of gaffer tape on our hardwood floor. Now, the reason this was here is to act as a marker for our dartboard, which is right over here. It used to be over here, but not exactly all of our team members were very good dart players, and there's a lot of damage on the wall, and so we had to remove the dartboard. But one day, we're going to bring it back, and so we've kept the gaffer tape there. Uh, one of the many uses of gaffer tape. Our final stop is the using gaffer tape on our uh, phone cables. So we've applied the gaffer tape over the phone cable here when we enter the kitchen so that we can secure the cable and not trip over it. And so it protects the cable, it protects us, and whenever we want to remove it, it's very simple. We just slide it off. It doesn't leave any residue. It's easy to apply and easy to remove. And that is our short little pit stop on how to use gaffer tape around your office. Thank you.